Hi, this is Andrew Moore Crispin with your Butterscotch.com tutorial series on using your new iPad, iPad 101. And today we're going to take a look at using the built-in Safari browser to browse the web. Now, by default, we'll find the Safari icon in our dock here. Just tap to launch. Now, they put a lot of focus on the iPad. Uh, Steve Jobs was calling it the perfect internet browsing experience. So it stands to reason that they did put a lot of uh, focus on the Safari browser. And it really does show because it, it does work quite well. Now, across the top here, we can see a back and forward button. So if we tap the back arrow, we go back to the page we were previously on. If we tap the forward arrow, we can go back to the page we were on before that. Now, we can also tap the pages icon here, and we can see all the websites that we currently have open. We can tap on any website to actually load it up in the full browser. Now, the book icon gives us access to all of our bookmarks. And we can see here all of, the, uh, all of the bookmarks that we've created. We can also tap on the plus icon to add a new bookmark. We also get a couple of other options, including add to home screen and also mail a link to this page. If we were to choose to mail a link to this page, it would open up uh, our email application. Now, you can see uh, some limited multitasking going on here. We can email um, a link to this page to a friend of ours. I'm going to cancel out of that for now. One interesting feature is we can actually uh, add links to pages we visit most often to our home screen. All we have to do, tap on Add to Home Screen. Now, we'll see here the, um, the icon that they're going to be using. And we can also change the name of the shortcut here. So we'll change that to Butterscotch and choose to Add. Now we can see the butterscotch uh, icon here. Anytime we tap on that, it'll open up in Safari. Now, as we're browsing around on websites, you can see here uh, we get the full view of the site. However, we can also double tap on any, any content box to get a zoomed in view. We can also do the pinch and zoom stuff that we're, uh, that we're used to if we used an iPod or Touch or an iPhone. So again, we can double tap to go back to uh, the full screen mode. So that, again, that's Tap with one finger to zoom in, and tap again to zoom out. Now that's a quick look at browsing the web and using mobile Safari on your iPad. And that concludes part six of our tutorial series. Be sure to hit up butterscotch.com to check out the show notes and to view all the parts in this series. Hey, this is Doc. If you're looking for a cheap and easy way to put your own content on the web, go get domain names from Hover.com. Just visit Hover.com slash Butterscotch and you'll get 10% off and support shows like these. Thanks.